Hi guys, Colsey, and today uh, I have some very special sponsored content for you guys. This video is sponsored by a brand, a game store called Robot Cash. Now, Robot Cash got in touch with me because they have this new game store, this new sort of way of buying and selling games, which I thought was really interesting. So they explained it to me a little bit and I asked a lot of questions just to make sure that it was something that I, I liked the idea of, that I felt comfortable about, that I was happy was like legit and I actually asked a few contacts of mine that are indie game developers or publishers themselves uh, who sell their games on Robot Cash. Uh, I can confirm that everything is legitimate here and that it is a, uh, it's a cool idea anyway, I think. I'm gonna explain a little bit more about what Robot Cash actually is um, and then we'll be playing a game called Protocol which I have uh, on their store. I also have a bunch of fast pass keys for you guys. So Robot Cash is not available uh, open to everyone at the minute. You have to be given like a like a key. It's sort of in beta mode, I guess you could say it is. So you have to be given a key. So I've got a few keys to give away to you guys. So uh, I'll be I'll be giving these away. I'm going to point out mainly two of the biggest points. So this is this is Robot Cash. If we go to the store. I don't want to spend too long talking specifically about the store and stuff. Uh, you know, we're going to play a game to just show that, you know, it's like any other game store. So obviously it's like any other game store. It has a bunch of different games on it. Um, and they have prices, which you can see here, like, for example, Bad North, eleven ninety nine. But then it also tells you what it is in this in-game store currency. So they call this in-store currency Iron. So it has both uh, an actual price in, in your, your currency, in your money, and it has a price in iron. That leads me to talking a little bit more about what is iron and why does Robot Cash have an in-game store. So one of the things that I think is very cool and is different from Robot Cash is the fact that they have this little ability up here. If I just hover over it, you can see it says, turn on mining to earn free games. So if we go over to my profile and go down to mining, here we are on the mining screen. So this works, I guess, I don't 100% know a lot about like uh, like cryptocurrency mining or anything like that, but it works very much a similar way. You allow um, Robot Cash to use your GPU and it will mine iron for you. As you can see here, I have mined for an hour, just wanted to see how it works and I earned one iron. So this is a system that is completely optional, you don't have to have it on at all and there are other great things about Robot Cash that I think makes it great anyway other than the mining. So even if you don't want anything to do with mining, that's fine because there's still some cool things about Robot Cash that I think is uh, cool and new and innovative, which I think was worth talking about. I, I'm not entirely sure this is the thing. Like, you're, if you know more about like Bitcoin mining or any crypto coin, cryptocurrency mining, stuff like that, you probably know more than I do. But what I'm aware is your PC is used to do calculations basically, and you are rewarded um, with cryptocurrency, in this case, iron, uh, for allowing your PC to do that. Now, there are some downsides to it. Um, there are some positives, obviously it means that you're effectively being able to earn money for free. It's not a lot of money and you would need to do a lot of mining in order to say buy like uh, a fairly expensive game. That's how it works, okay? It might take you a long time, but it is free and you are able to do it with whatever PC you have. Um, obviously the specs of your PC, I assume if your graphics card is better at mining because it's newer, it has more memory, I don't know, then you'll probably likely earn more. But I don't know how that works, so mm, it's, I'm going to be honest, the mining aspect is not my favourite part of Robot Cash, but it is cool and it is something different that I've not seen anybody else do. Um, the downside, obviously, is it does run your PC like at like your GPU at like 100%. So it is putting wear on your components. If you're okay with that, it's perfectly fine. You do it, that's fine. If you don't want to like uh, put extra strain and wear on your PC for a long period of time and have it running 100% all the time, uh, then you don't have to mine. It's completely up to you. But if you want to mine, you can earn some free iron, which you can then spend on games. That's pretty cool. Now, this is the aspect to me that was kind of the most interesting because it's not something I'd heard of before. But you can, you have the ability with Robot Cash to buy the games as you as you'd like, whether you want to use iron, whether you just want to use cash to buy the games on the store. You can buy those games 
you can play those games. And then when you're finished, you don't want that game anymore, you can resell that game, that digital game, and get some money back which I think is a really, really cool aspect of this. You know, I have a Steam profile that probably has four or 500 games on it, and a lot of them I don't play, or I've already played them and I'm not gonna play them again. Now, if I was able to resell those games, I don't believe uh, that you get a full price, you get something, you get some money back. I'm not sure exactly what the percentage is of it and I have not experienced this or messed around with this because I only have one game in my stash currently which is Protocol which I was given by Robot Cash so I, I cannot resell this which is fair enough but the ability to sell your games and at least get something back for digital games is a really cool idea and I think it's really interesting. I don't know how it's gonna work, but I think it's interesting and it's worth talking about and bringing up to you guys. That's that's why I accepted this little uh, sponsorship feature from Robot Cash. Okay, two seconds, my phone is ready. Be right back. Okay. That, oh. <laughs> now I'm just in a really stressed mood. I'm sorry, sorry. I don't want to get, let's not get into it now. Anyway, that's Robot Cash. It's a cool idea. If you want to grab yourself a code, um, then I guess, here's how I'll do the giveaway. If you put a comment down below in the description, then I'll pick a bunch of you guys and give you guys some free codes. That's the fairest way I can do it. I don't want to set up like a giveaway that has a time limit or anything. Just comment down below and I will select some people over the next week or so and I will give some codes out to you guys so that you can try out Robot Cash for yourself. Robot Cash were kind enough to give me this game called Protocol, so we're gonna play that. I imagine that this is just gonna run basically like any other game. Okay, there's an epilepsy warning, so maybe if you're epileptic, maybe don't watch this. Right, new game. I have no idea what this is, but it is Protocol. I don't know, it seemed cool. I like the sound of it. I'm not sure what to expect from it. In this game, you might, may find yourself with many deadlocks. The only way out is death. This game may make you angry more than once. This game may make you replay some moments over and over again. <sighs> uh huh. Oh. Are there no other candidates? Such a mission? No, Mr. President. Oh, uh, I Describe dropped that. Specific character. He quickly and accurately carries out orders. Did you just? Without the flaw. For a soldier, a recent divorce is not a serious trauma. All right, so I just need to sign. I'm just chucking stuff at you. Oh, there's a pen. Yeah, there you go. I don't. I don't need that stuff back. There's the drop zone. Crash UFO. That's a crash UFO. You want to take a look at that? Oh, I can sign. Signed it. I signed the paperwork. I did a good. Oh, the fact that I can spin fully around is probably not good, but there we go. Oh, this doesn't seem good at all. Well. I'm, mm, we may have crash landed. Oh, we're alive. Dead. And fire. Just a typical beginning of every operation. Welcome, volunteers. We hope the landing was safe and comfortable. It wasn't. I slept well. Do you guys have a climate control system here? It's a bit can stuffy. I, can I get out, please? Oh, fire extinguisher. Ah! Do I have to put this key card somewhere. Do I have to? Oh, is this a thing? I'm stuck inside of a capsule that I can't get out of. Um, okay. okay, I'm confused in the beginning of a game. Nothing is new here. There's legitimately nothing else to interact with. Yes, I can see it. I can see that the access code is 6401. That doesn't help me when I don't see a panel. Flashlight. Oh. 
Why? Oh! I pressed F! Apparently, F just, just flips the bird. Are you gonna put your arm down now? No, now his arm is fi- Fire the fire- Oh, is there still fire? Well, I can't get a freaking fire extinguisher now, because it's... Seriously. Okay. Oh, look, they didn't lie. Why is that loading? Why can I put my middle finger up? My head. Did I die? Fire. I'm doing it. I'm powering the the whole thing. I think I did it. Insert key card. Did it! Yeah, oh, doing it. You're kidding me. Oh, this one. Hippie. Yeah, boy, we figured it. Uh huh. How do I do that? Proceed to terminal to turn on outdoor lighting. Something. Why well, will? As soon as you let me move, machine lady. Uh, turn on the outdoor lighting of the complex. Insert key card. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, it's E. Press E. Not enough energy. Battery is needed. I'm assuming that there's a battery in here. Where the hell does the battery go? Ow. Oh, I dropped it. Did I just pick up a snowball? That's kind of cool. Can I throw it? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have a good time. Oh, that's where the battery goes. Cool. Okay, this battery died. This battery died. How about this one? Okay, I need to insert the third battery. God, is these batteries just instantly draining? What is wrong with them? Sure, yeah. It was really smart to leave the batteries in the cold, guys. They're all low. Well, at least there's a dynamo machine in the capsule. It may be possible to charge the batteries. Oh, God, my vision's getting all frozen. Go back and charge the battery in the with the spinny dynamo thingy. Yep, 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 yep. Doing it! Charging! Now this is charged. Run! This is... I don't know where the hell we are or what the hell is going on, but I know it's cold. Oh, frick. Frick off. I need, I need this one. Yeah. Who's a good boy? Me! I'm a good boy. Beep. Well done, me. I did a thing. I am a clever clogs. Yes, it is true. It is strictly forbidden to violate the protocol. I didn't. Shit. Even frozen somewhere in the ass end of the world. Stop thinking about our last family quarrel. Her voice became engraved in my mind. I'm just gonna throw a snowball at this drone because God, why can't I throw this freaking thing? Get involved into this. Ha ha! Ha ha! I got you. No. 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 I died, didn't I? I shouldn't have thrown the snowball. Ooh. So, for throwing a snowball at the drone, they nuked me. This time, I won't throw a snowball at the drone, maybe. Maybe that was not my best idea, but it did tell me not to do it, so I obviously did it. I'm taking dead man's arm. I might need it. 
I'm not gonna throw a snowball at you. Even frozen somewhere in the ass end of the world. I can't stop thinking about our last family quarrels, or the divorce happened because of the bullshit like this. Anyway, it's the I don't know. The mission. I don't need your whole fucking life story. What's this shiny thing? Hmm, this thing's still warm. It's a heart. Ew. Ew, it looks like an alien heart. So that's what taxpayers' money goes to. Mm -hmm. I thought they spent mm -hmm. it on cocaine and whores for congressmen. Whores. We need to see what's inside. Yep. What the fuck's the password? What? Wilson. Ah! Do I, does my, where's my, ah! Where's my card? Do I need Wilson, do I need the other half, do I need his fucking arm? Did I really bring his arm all the way, halfway here, then pick up a heart and drop it and I needed it? Do you need this? What do you want from me, machine? Okay, there's a wire that goes this way. From the machine. Fork. And this is strange. Man, I wish this beer wasn't frozen. Krill, you idiot. We ordered heating alcohol. Who in their right mind would drink beer in the freezing cold? Well, that's broken. Right. I hope I don't just die from freezing in a second. Well, apparently I need something that fits this plug. You mean like this? This looks like it fits this plug. A? Is this on now? I I'm trying not to die here, but guys, why is nothing working here? What the hell do I do? So I can turn it off. Or I can turn it on, basically. Uh-huh. Also... Ah, I see, I see the problem. There appears to be a fork stuck in the, in the, in the wire. I don't understand why there's a fork in the wire, but there appears to be a fork in the wire. And I would imagine, using my that clever brain... better. I can turn on electricity now. That's right, I don't want to pull that out while the electric's on, because I'll die. Yes, look at that. The cable has turned from being red and sparky to not. Right. What? I'm gonna go back. I'm just walking back now. I don't understand. Get my freaking key card back now. Oh my god, I had to pick the key card back up. Oh, I thought it was being clever, like using the dead guy's key card, but no, I need my own freaking key card because I'm an idiot. I'm a freaking moron, apparently. I'm an idiot. Please let this work, little robot. Please enter the key card code. What was the key card code? Wrong code. You have violated the protocol. Oh, fuck. I didn't remember, so I put 69, 69. And of course, of course they nuked me again. <laughs> God damn it. Right guys, I'm gonna end that video there. Thank you Robot Cash for sponsoring this video. Uh, I really like the idea of the platform. I hope that it's something that takes off, being able to sell games that, you, that you've played fully and you don't want anymore and get some of your money back is a great idea, something that we've not ever been able to do before as far as I'm aware. We can't do that with Steam, we can't do that with Epic Games, we can't do that with Origin, any of those. Once you buy the game, you have the game. You can't get any money back from that. You can't sell a game if you're finished with it like we used to do back in the day of CD. So if you're interested in this, like I said, I've got a few fast pass codes for you guys to check out so you can access uh, Robot Cash early before they release it while it's still in beta. So if you want to come uh, and join me on this platform and just check it out, have a go for yourself. Maybe you want to get into mining and mine yourself some, some extra iron to maybe help buy those games and get yourself some money off, then please do. 
Remember to leave a comment in the description. I'm gonna pick a bunch of people and just send them a code and send them some codes for some free iron as well because Robot Cash were nice enough to send me those. Again, I wouldn't endorse anything I didn't think was cool, I didn't think was interesting, that's why I did this video. The mining aspect for me is not something that I'm hugely interested in. Um, I want to make sure that my hardware doesn't doesn't break sooner than it should. Um, and the, the mining aspect is not something that I know too well, so it's not something that I want to mess around with too much. But I like the idea of being able to buy and then resell your games. I think that's a really cool thing uh, that is available. So like I said, if you guys want to get access to this, then uh, please do check out Robot Cash. And if you leave a comment, I've got a few codes to give away to you guys. So uh, check it out. But thank you Robot Cash for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to see me play some more prototype, do let me know. It was kind of a fun game actually. It was, it was kind of, um, it was a weird one. Uh, but it's kind of like a tongue-in-cheek funny game and I like that. It was kind of cool So I might play some more of that if you guys are interested, but thank you for watching this video Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like comment and subscribe Let me know what you guys think of Robot Cash and uh, I will see you guys next time